Hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your monthly reading. Great to see everyone again. I can't wait to see what kind of information and guidance is coming through for you this month. If you're brand new to the channel, I just want to say a nice warm welcome. And if you've been supporting me over the past few years, thank you again for that support. Uh, for the new folks, let me just go through how I organize the monthly readings. I like to start every session off with um, channeled information, and then I move along to a Celtic cross, and I end with health, wealth, love, and destiny. Let's get into the channeled information. Now, the way that I arrive at this is I meditate on your sign and I also engage in some automatic writing. As I did this, two things came through. The first was this idea of reshaping. I saw you kind of getting your hands in the dirt and molding something, almost like you were creating something out of like pottery or clay. So there's this chance this month for you to take something and if you're not happy with the shape or the direction of it, to reshape, to redirect. So um, that transmuting energy is the first message. The second one was that you could take your power back. This was a very hands-on activity. So I want you to kind of live with this mantra throughout the month. You're more powerful than you know, and don't underestimate the impact or the power that your words and actions can have, not just upon your own life, but the people around you. Keep being persistent. If there's something that you're trying to make happen, I mentioned this for another sign, it may not happen overnight, but you, you have the ability to push it through. So you might have to be more outspoken than you're used to. You may have to uh, push in ways that you're not accustomed to, but in doing so, you're going to get this sense of accomplishment, of finding your power. So you can reshape something that doesn't suit you. You can learn about your own power, which you've always had, and then you can ultimately affect the outcome. It's a very good energy that's at your disposal this month. So let's take a look now at the cards and see how it's going to play out for you. At this point, I'd like to remain quiet and just observe the cards. So let me do that and then we'll pick up in just a moment after everything is on the table. In addition to what's in front of us, I like to pull one more card that I call the catalyst. The catalyst really ties together everything that we see. Uh, it's a secondary theme for you. It's also what kicks the month off. So your message this month is focusing on your sixth chakra. Another word for this chakra is your third eye. And this is where you are going to be receiving intuitive information, psychic information, also creative inspiration. For those of you that may be a musician or a writer or a dancer this could be you seeing something in your head and then creating it in your art for the rest of you this could simply be an awakening feeling that it's a lot easier to pick up on intuitive signs and symbols whether it's in your dreams or you just start to feel hear and see more things so work on your third eye it's a muscle. It's something that with development, it gets stronger. Have fun with it this month. That's the important thing. And that's why I think it could be fun for those of you that have a creative flair to use your artistic side to open up the channel. Turning the attention to the center card now, we have the Knight of Wands. This really underlines what was coming through in the channeled information, which is that your thoughts have a lot of strength, a lot of power. Knights are about movement. They're about being able to take what you see and feel and share them with others. So for many of you, that's what this is. And also knights fight for what they want. And that's why we're talking about this ability to mold, to push through, and sometimes even to challenge people so that they can understand your point of view. It's crossed by an equally powerful card, the magician, one of manifestation, also a card of many skills and many colors. And so this shows me that Whatever you decide to really put your energy into this month, there's great things that can happen. The only thing that you want to consider is not to spread yourself too thin, because sometimes the magician can have his or her attention split in too many directions. So try to stay focused, but once you are focused, the combination of um, the Knight of Wands and the Magician, it's a very strong, strong pair. Uh, and you could be unstoppable this month, so that's great. As we look into your deep past, we have the Fool. This tells me that some of you may have been through a recent move, a fresh start, or if you've just decided to 
kind of take some chances and some risks in your life. You may also be considering doing some traveling or increasing your exercise routine. Whatever it is, I see some significant changes that have either just happened or are just about to go underway. So um, congratulations on that, keep with it. The Fool is a great card, sometimes a misunderstood one, but it's showing me a reset, a reboot. This really goes nicely with what the channeled information was saying. Moving from the deep past to the recent past, we have the Three of Wands. Now the Three of Wands is really nice because it's showing that the work that you've done, for some of you deciding to start over, to clear things out, um, whatever that new fresh start is for you, or even just speaking your mind and putting a lot of energy into making things happen. This is going to push the next part of your year into a very positive trajectory. Three of Wands means the goals that you're seeking, the dreams that you have, they're within reach. You just have to continue to do the work, but right now you've set up a nice foundation and some of you have broken through old patterns, which is great. And for those of you that haven't yet either had that breakthrough, whether it's a move or a graduation or moving on or whatever, we have the nine of wands in the crowning position showing me that you're getting ready and this may be your building up year. So nines are years of um, near completion. 10 is when you sort of complete and move on. And usually that's followed by something like the fool or an ace. So many of you might be about six to eight months from a significant shift in your life. Uh, a new job, a new way of living, a new address. So between now and whatever that time period is for that to come into fruition, you just want to stay on the course that you've set up and to maintain this great momentum that you've started, which is positive shifts, change in this feeling of that you're suddenly more powerful, more able to do what you need to do. We have the Seven of Cups here in your near future. This is a card of opportunity, sometimes of daydreaming, and Right now, I think it's too early to get specific. So I think it's good to be in this exploration phase. What you should be doing right now is thinking about what you want, what you want from a soul perspective, from an emotional perspective, what make, makes sense for your budget. It, it, for those of you that might be considering some sort of a, a change in, like I said, change in job or change in living situation. So explore all options, calculate all of the variables and give yourself time to dream and don't let anybody sort of rain on your parade right now. It's important for you to have this chance for your mind, your heart to soar, um, just like we see in this card. And through that, you're going to find the one or the two items that make the most sense for your life. As we look in your uh, ego position, we have the moon card. She's reversed. And this, for some of you, indicates um, uh, bringing back fears from the past and sometimes being afraid to talk about what's keeping you up at night, what's worrying you. And I think the most important thing when we see the moon card in reverse is simply to address fears and concerns. Talk to somebody that you trust in your life uh, who isn't going to shut you down, who isn't going to uh, not be supportive. They're going, you just need a listening ear to help you walk through some of these things and I think that you're gonna feel a lot better. The moon card's also highly psychic. So when I see the high priestess, the moon, or the magician, I get a lot of psychic energy. You combine that with this sixth chakra card, and it's clear that, again, this month is going to be highly transformative and highly receptive when it comes to your, um, your ESP. So really work on that muscle and have fun with it, like I said earlier. In your environment card, we have the four of pentacles. This is fear surrounding resources like money, time, energy, a fear that you may not have enough, that those around you may not have enough. Sometimes it's a self-confidence issue. So your big challenge this month is overcoming the fear and getting back into that, into that state of empowerment, which I was picking up on in the channeled information. And knowing that if there is anything that makes you feel out of control, then the reason that it's presenting itself, probably in the moon card here, is so that you can release the fear, get some sort of a plan of attack and get the action uh, set up so that you can be successful and so that you can overcome it. As we look at your opportunity space, also where hopes and fears show up, we have the Ten of Wands. And now we see the progression. This is your dream. This is your present state. So Nine of Wands, near completion, Ten of Wands, ready to move, ready to move on. So many of you, probably, if you could make the change right now, you would, but you understand that time, resources, and just life in general is telling you a little bit further down the line. 
So we're looking at the end of the year, or the beginning of next year, big changes are happening for Aquarius. Your outcome card has to it a few meanings here. One of them is that it's time, you're, you're probably overdue for some sort of a trip. So when I see the Eight of Cups, this is usually a trip that is just for yourself, a chance for you to get to know yourself a little bit more. It's almost like a dream quest or a journey where you explore something that means a lot to you. So maybe there's something on your bucket list that you've always wanted to see or do. This card is very much aligned with that. It could also be connecting to something that you haven't finished before and you have a second chance to allow for that to come to fruition. It can also be a, an excitement and an anticipation and even sort of a frustration about wanting to move on to the next thing. And so the Eight of Cups is here to remind you that um, it, it's important to do that, but it's also important to weigh out all of the costs, the pros and the cons before moving forward. So take some time, no matter what, and just give yourself a chance to relax, to explore, to be um, untethered and also not distracted by things like the internet, deadlines, etc. So if you have a sick day, if you have a personal day, if you have some vacation time, this is the time to take it. Leave things for a little bit, then come back, then reevaluate with a new sense of um, clarity and without all of the filters that you might be normally bringing into something. And that should give you the clarity that you need to make your decision. Let's go ahead and expand the forecast now and we'll look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. We'll begin with health. Health, of course, includes mind, body, and spirit. So we'll give it one more shuffle and we'll see what the message is for health this month. So we have a detoxification card. So above all else, this is really reminding you to be kind to your body. If you have any sort of uh, addiction that you're trying to release, whether it's alcohol, drugs, or something like uh, caffeine, nicotine, sugar, this is a time to start that new beginning, to let go of that habit and to create new and better habits. This can also indicate relationships and situations in your life that might be toxic. There could be something going on that upsets you emotionally. There could be people in your life that don't support you, that kind of tear away at your um, self-confidence. These are also toxins and these are also toxic situations. So this is a chance for you for your own health and well-being to uh, to separate yourself, to move on and to create some space so that you can make a, a decision on your own. Getting back to that channeled information, it's about taking your power back. So if those sorts of toxic environments exist, let go and let go of the friendships and the situations around them. Let's go ahead and look now at your wealth card and see what message that has for you over the course of this month. A reminder that wealth isn't just money, it's also uh, resources and opportunities in your life. The message this month has to do with um, keeping up with your intentions and your promises. So when it comes to career, the first thing that I think of when I look at this is commitment. Um, if you've committed to do something, this card is about making sure that you have uh, the wherewithal to, to follow through, that you're not over committing yourself. It's also showing you that for many of you, it could take one full moon cycle. We're just finishing up a full moon. We'll be going into an, uh, a new moon. This is going to take about a month. So many of your goals are about a month away. So I want you to be realistic with those. Give yourself the time that you need to make them happen. And uh, yeah, above all else, try not to say that you'll do something if you don't have the energy or the intention of following through on it. This is all about accountability, honesty, and doing what you say you're going to do and also holding other people to do that. If they aren't, remember, this is a month where you can stand up for yourself, as we mentioned in the channeled information. Now let's take a look at your love card and see what guidance is coming through in the area of relationships. So for love, we have assistance. Don't be afraid to reach out, to ask for help, and know that Communication here is key. This couldn't be any more vibrant for the throat chakra if we tried. It's a reminder that as an air sign, this is actually one of your attributes. When I see assistance, I see that your communication acumen, your experience, and your ability to say what you need to say in a way that can move people, can move mountains if you'd like, that's going to be the biggest attribute or assistance that you have this month. So whether it has to do with work, with love, with some other element of your life, working with the people that you care about 
You're going to be able to communicate and inspire them, move them towards your cause. So maybe that's going out on a date or maybe that's getting a project done, whatever it is, your words are going to move people, especially people that care deeply about you. And that's why it's coming through in the relationship area. So speak your mind, be powerful. Again, use the power of your words, especially when you feel energy of passion and, um, and believing in yourself. That's going to also translate to the people that you're delivering it to. Let's now take a look at your GPS. This is your destiny card. If you like where you're headed, stick with it. If not, the destiny card allows you for an opportunity to course correct. So your destiny message this month is finding sanctuary. When I look at this, I definitely get a sense of a shift in location of work, of home, of some sort of environment. Uh, there's a need for you to do that. I believe that the detox card, the 10 of wands, the fool card, they're all leading up to some sort of a move on the horizon for you, whether it's a short term traveling um, experience or deciding to hang your hat there for a while and move there. Um, it does look like there's an opportunity for a move. Um, so know that that's one thing that will really apply to many of you. Of course, the other message here is that this is again, going back to that intuition card that we saw earlier, the sixth chakra. This is a chance for you to find a space or a place to practice your spiritual journey and to deepen your um, connection with the divine, with your intuitive side. So if you can find a sanctuary that works for you, this is going to be the key to that puzzle piece and being able to open up. Let's go ahead now and review everything we talked about and then we'll wrap up. I talked about the beginning. Uh, what I saw was this ability for you to transmute or to shift energy this month. And it was going to happen with your own communication skills, knowing that your voice is powerful, the way in which you communicate is powerful. And that was something that we saw here in the cards as we expanded the forecasts. Let's go ahead and review each card and their position as well. We'll start off first with your um, catalyst card, reminding you of the power of your third eye and that there's a lot of things that you can do with this energy, whether it's creative or whether it's spiritual, don't be afraid to tap into that this month. As we look at the central card here, this is speaking to the strength in your thoughts this month, which is why it's important to remain positive, to believe that anything is possible. That's supported by the magician card here, which is showing the ability to manifest and to make happen whatever it is that you wish to make happen. Uh, a little bit of impatience from the deep past here with the fool card, knowing that it's time to move on. Some of you may have already made that move. Others realize that it's something coming through in the future. Three of wands a confirmation that you've made great strides towards whatever it is that you're trying to bring into fruition. But it's important to, to stay in the moment and continue to work hard, Nine of Wands. I want you to have the ability to daydream and explore options without being rushed and without be told, uh, being told that it's not possible. That would constitute a toxic environment, something that it's time to move on from, which we saw in the health card. So if somebody can't support you, or if you feel that you're threatened somehow, that's something that you want to leave because you need the time to stretch your wings and to try new things. The, the um, moon card is attached in reverse to the four of pentacles. A lot of fears around money, around resources this month. So it's a good time to revisit your budget, something I talk about a lot. And then also just work on self-confidence and that feeling that you're going to be able to push through. Ten of Wands, a card of moving forward, uh, getting ready for the next step. I want you to, in, uh, in, as part of this exercise with your resources, I want you to plan out maybe the next six to eight months and see what your dreams, your aspirations, your hopes are for that period of time and put together a plan of action to make it happen. If you haven't taken a vacation in a while, it's important to do so. You need some time away from everything that we've talked about so that you can make sense of everything. So it's time to kind of give yourself a rest and in that rest, clarity will come. We talked already about detoxification, not just in substances, but also in situations. Stay true to your word, hold others true to theirs as well. This is important when we look at business. In relationships, it's all about communication. Ask for help, help others if you'd like, but know that this assistance word is really speaking to the fact that the biggest aid, the biggest element of improvement that you can bring to relationships is that transparent communication. Finally, 
you are headed towards a, um, a new and exciting horizon here. Many of you, this is a move, a change of location. Some of you, this might just be getting more secure in your spiritual side. That brings our monthly reading to a close. Um, I hope that this gave you the clarity and the insight that you need for the month ahead. If you ever want to talk a little bit more about your own spiritual growth, as we saw with this card, or if you just have questions about some decision in your life, I am available for one-on-one -on -one appointments. So if you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can click on the first link right below the video, and that will take you to my website, and you can check out rates and availability there. The second link will allow you to give back to the channel. So if this is something that you really, really enjoyed, and you'd like to see more videos like this, know that I am 100% viewer supported. So donations and bookings is what makes this possible. So um, if you would like to give as little as $1, it goes a long way. It allows me to buy new cards and it allows me to open up time in my um, schedule so that I can do more videos. Otherwise, I'm working just like you. Um, the third link is a way to stay in touch. So one of the big reasons that I do this is I'm trying to create a sense of community. So if you want to join with other like-minded people, you can join me on my course here on the YouTube page by hitting subscribe. But I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I welcome you there. Um, you can also subscribe to my newsletter or uh, opt into notifications here by hitting subscribe. So uh, that third link will allow you to do all of the above. And now that brings us to my favorite part of the video, which is where I say thank you and give you some gratitude for all of the work that you guys have been doing on yourselves. That's the true motivating factor for me from month to month. I'm excited about how everybody's changing um, and working on themselves, making this a brighter and lighter world. We need that right now because there's a lot of things going on that sometimes pull us down. So uh, this month, I'm challenging everyone to try to help someone else in their life. Maybe they're going through a tough time with their health, uh, with a loved one, or just emotionally. Be there, be that source of light and hope, and bring that to them the same way I'm trying to bring you some insight. And that alone is going to make this planet a much better place. Thank you so much for the work you're doing on yourself. Thank you more importantly for allowing me to be a part of that change in metamorphosis. I wish you continued love, light, and success now and always. Thank you and see you soon.